This is Mac. What's up? And this is his girlfriend, Jess. Hey. And we made over $1 million by working online. Mac, a 22-year-old Canadian, and Jess, who's 25 from England, are just about as millennial as any couple can get, and I'm very excited to tell you their inspiring story. They've both been digital nomads, or location-independent entrepreneurs, since 2016. I was in university going to school in Canada. I was in probably one of the most useless degrees ever, political science. So, uh, so then I just decided to drop out and start doing copywriting, so writing advertisements for local businesses. I was a part-time YouTuber, full-time disappointment to my parents. <laughs> and uh, so I was basically living at home after graduating and like I super hated it. Fuck off, I'm and I've been doing YouTube on the side, so I had some like video editing skills that I picked up. And there was one point where I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna leave. And so I did video editing online just casually. It's cheaper actually to move to Chiang Mai than to move out of home back in England. So I just got one way ticket to Chiang Mai and uh, was a video editor for a while. Mac and Jess met in the Chiang Mai digital nomad community and soon after, they started dating. They moved onwards to Bangkok, where I met them last week in Hubba, our beloved co-working space. They told me that their business is now dropshipping and e-commerce. So basically, we find products in China, we source them through a supplier, we ship them to the US, and then we place advertisements on Facebook to get customers to buy those products and we ship it to them. It's called drop shipping. But success hasn't come too easy. A few business mistakes that Mac made was a huge setback. 50K in debt at this point. And then with her, we, she came and helped me and I work, we worked out of it. I do the creative part and Mac does more of the advertising. I sometimes do the ads, but uh, we both do the product research. Amazingly, their business has taken off over the past six months. And then we generate over 1.5 million in sales total. I'm not kidding when I tell you that they live the best life ever. Uh, we like to play ping pong, sometimes get axe throwing with friends, just do random stuff in Bangkok. But that's just the beauty of their job. They choose their own hours and they still get all of their work done. They are also expert budgeters. Like we basically try to set, um, I don't know, anywhere from 15 to $25 a day budgeting between us both, but sometimes we go over that. Uh, most of our food is just paid for with a meal plan online, and um, other than that, we just have co-working costs, and rent we pay about 600 bucks at the moment. What, what do you like about being a digital nomad? So what I like about it is being free, not having to answer to someone else, and to basically live life on your own terms. Uh, waking up whenever I want, and yeah, not having like a boss just tell you when to go into work, like, Freedom as well. <laughs> What's next for the young couple? Uh, we're thinking of heading to Bali to continue the adventure there. All I want to say is that we're living in an incredible generation where anything in the world is possible. You no longer have to work a traditional 9 to 5 job with a boss telling you what to do. Mac and Jess have followed their dreams just like the tea couple from India and the traveling family from Quebec. I hope this video inspires you to follow your passion in life. Because the opportunities out there are endless. And I'm curious the dynamics of being in a relationship and working together. Do you guys fight a lot? Uh, I would say depends, depends on the day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we don't throw stuff around or call each other names. We go so to acting instead. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah. It's always a miscommunication or misunderstanding. So I'm like British European. He's obviously Canadian, and he's more direct. So I might be like, oh, maybe we should go to the Vietnamese restaurant. For me, that means oh, we should go. But it's been indirect. For him, it's like he takes the maybe's maybe. <laughs> so then, <laughs> so then, so then like, he, he goes to another restaurant. I'm like, Mac, I want to go here. And he's like, You didn't tell me. I'm like, I, I told you. <laughs>